Hello friends, welcome back to another session of Core Java Tutorials. Today we will be seeing string concatenation operator. What is meant by concatenation? Concatenation means joining two strings together. And there are two ways to join the strings. One is by using plus operator and the second one is by using concat method. Java do not allow any other operators except plus to be applied on strings. So plus is an exceptional kind of operator that you can apply on string concatenation. So we'll just see how this plus is used for concatenating strings. So this is a sample code wherein the name of the class is test string concat and inside here I have declared one variable which is of string type and I said s is equal to hello. Hello is one string and then I used plus over here and then I said sudha. Okay, so plus is used to concatenate these two strings together and the output when I print s the output will be hello sudha. So hello and string both hello string and sudha string both are combined together to form one string which is hello sudha. Okay, so here plus is applied or plus is used on strings. So how this happens we will see. String concatenation is implemented by string builder class. So we are creating an object of string builder and there is a method called append method. So the append method will take the first string that we have given and that is hello. And then it will be appending uh, the second string to it. So hello sudha is appended. And finally to string method is used to convert all this into string object. So finally it is converted the whole string hello sudha is converted to string object and it is printed on screen when used in system.out.println. Now I will tell you another use of plus over here. So take a look at this particular example. Okay, I want you people who are watching this video to take a pause and guess the output of the system.out.println. What will this print on the screen? Okay, so according to us, like whatever we learned, we learned that this is used to concatenate strings. So the output will be 5 imagined as a string. Combined with 6, it should be 5 and 6 and then hello and then added 7 and then 8. So this should be the output like what you are imagining. But this is absolutely wrong. One very important thing that you need to understand is that plus acts in two forms. So operator overloading. So plus will be acting as two forms which is considered to be operator overloading concept. Java do not support. Okay, so I want all of you to take a note of it. Java do not support operator overloading. But explicitly, it does not support it explicitly. Explicitly means that being programmers, you cannot perform operator overloading in your programs. But internally, Java has operator overloading and example of that is your plus operator here. Plus operator, when, when put in between two operands of integers, it acts like a, a numerical operator and when put in between two strings, it acts like a concatenation operator. Okay, so I'll repeat this. When plus is put in between two operands which are of integer type, it acts like a numerical plus operator. When put in between two strings, it acts like a concatenation operator. So the output will not be this. So herein, because since the two operands are of numerical type, it will perform addition over here. So what is 5 plus 6? 5 plus 6 is 11. So now 11 plus hello. So it will imagine this to be like this. So since one of its operand is of a string type, now it will convert this 11 also into string type and concatenate these two saying that it is 11 hello. Okay, so now this entire thing is of string now. Now plus there is 7 over here. So it will think that since one of the operand for plus over here is string type, what it will imagine? It will imagine 7 to be string. So at what it will do? It will concatenate it. Then plus 8. So what it will do? It will imagine this thing to be one string and this is another string. So it will combine it saying 7, 8. So the output of this particular system.out.println will be 11, hello, 77, 8. 
Okay, so let us take another example over here. So I said hello plus 2 plus 2. Now what will be the output of it? So the output of it will be hello plus 2. Okay, so it will give, since one of its operand is a string, it will make this 2 also a string. So it will be hello 2. Plus again, I am having another 2. Since one of the operand is string, it will imagine the other one also to be string. So the output will be hello 2 2. So if you want, okay, so if you want certain operations to be performed before, you can use parentheses. So since I want this operation to be performed first, I am putting it in parentheses. So what will happen is this will execute first. So I'll have 4 here and then it will concatenate to hello. So the output will be hello 4. So one important thing that we noted down here is that Java do not, Java do not support explicit operator overloading meaning that programmer cannot operator overload but implicitly there is one operator which is overloaded that is plus this plus can act this plus can act like a numerical binary operator and also as a unary operator and also it can act like a concatenation operator hope this video is helpful to you stay home stay safe happy learning bye